Hey guys, Papa Crescendo here. I'm going to show you how to stop the lag. I did a video uh, about three years ago right here. Um, very successful video, but of course Streamlabs has updated and changed everything. So if you're lagging again, um, thanks for coming back. And if you're new here, I think uh, this will fix the lag. There's only three things that you need to be concerned about uh, to be able to fix a lag. Number one, internet speed. That's a cause for lag. Number two is your computer. Is your CPU um, not very good? And that's okay, we can adjust the settings. Uh, number three is a combination of the two. So let's get into this. We're gonna knock out number one first. We're gonna see how fast is your internet. Type in speed test, just so I can show you how to get here, okay? And do not click on this one. You wanna click on speed test by Okla. Go ahead and click go. You want to be at least at 60 megabytes a second, okay, on the download speeds. Most people nowadays have over 200 uh, megabytes a second, depending on your internet. But so if you've got 200, you're great. As far as bit rate goes, you can go with the highest bit rate, you know, let's say 5,000, 5,500. But uh, don't worry about what that means. Uh, the number one thing is upload speed. If your upload speed's over six, then you can be at the higher um, settings. Of course, that's if your computer um, is also good. So you see my upload is good and my download is good. So once you know where you're at, if your internet's not that great, we're gonna lower some of the settings. Now, we're gonna go here to Streamlabs, go down to the bottom left and click on that wheel for settings and we're here. Under general, you don't really have to do anything. Um, here's my settings so you can see it. Uh, I'm sure it's pretty much default, okay? Um, stream, that's easy. Just click on whichever service you're streaming on and log in. Um, output, I'm gonna skip for now. We're gonna go back to output in a second. Um, audio, 48 kilohertz, okay? You can select right there. It's probably gonna be set on 44, but go ahead and jump it up to 48. The rest is pretty standard. Um, your microphone should be right here. If you're not getting sound, that's because this is probably selected on something else. See, mine is set up on the Yeti. There's my Yeti. Okay. And that's it there. Um, now we're going to jump down to advanced. And then we're going to work our way back up to video and output. So when you're in advanced, make sure that this process priority is on high. Uh, video should be pretty much default. Just check that out. Okay, and I think the rest of this, you can kind of see the settings. There's nothing that you really need to do here. Okay, now we're gonna go over to video. So jump up to video quick. I'm gonna try to keep this video under five minutes. Um, you wanna have your base canvas at 1920 uh, by 1080. Your output, I'm going to recommend to keep it, even if you have really fast computer and internet, keep it at 1280 by 720 because if someone's watching on the phone and you've got the output at 920, 1080, it's gonna be blurry for them. It's gonna look bad. So meet in the middle. The 1280 by 720 is gonna look spectacular on a big um, big screen TV because it's still going to broadcast at 1080i, which is great. So um, there you go, or 720p, however you wanna look at it. The next one is the downscale filter. I can't change it because I'm recording right now, but I'll go ahead and put up a picture and you can see you wanna go with the bilinear, which is the lowest one or the one in the middle. Um, you can use either one of those to see which one's gonna work for you. But what you probably wanna do is lower it, everything to the lowest possible thing. So I'd go bilinear on this. If you have a good computer, leave it on the Lancos 32. And then on here as well, you could reduce the output scale if you want to. I think you'll, you'll be okay at 1280 by 720, but you could lower it a little bit if you wanted to. Make sure this is a common FPS values and 60 here on that. So now we're gonna go to the next thing. The last thing is output. Make sure that your output is on advanced. So we're dealing with streaming right now. And then uh, make sure that your encoder, I'm also gonna put um, something up on a screen here because I can't do it. See how it won't let me click on this while I'm recording, but it's gonna say the um, 240 CPU. You can use that if you don't have access to the NVENC 
Uh, if you've got NVENC new, great. Leave it on NVENC new. Or uh, NVENC is the other one. Um, I have it on the best one, which is on NVENC new. Um, sometimes you'll have it on NVENC and it won't allow you to stream because it says you need to update. And then you update and it still doesn't allow you to stream. I've had that happen. Um, and when that happens, just go to the 240 um, and run it on the 240 and that's fine. If you don't have a good computer, you're probably going to be running it on the 240, okay? And then you've got the uh, Enforce Streaming Service Encoder Settings. Go ahead and select that. The rate control is going to be CBR. Bit rate, I've got it set at 4500. You could go to 5000 if you want. Um, uh, if your internet is slow, then keep it at 2500, okay? If your internet is slow. That means if you're below six on the upload, okay? Like what we just ran in the beginning of this video, if your upload speeds are less than six, leave this, leave this at 2500. Keyframe intervals at two. The preset, uh, just leave it on quality. You could go to high quality, but quality is what's recommended. And I think that may have to do with people that watch on the phone. Um, if you get it, if you put it too high, it might be too much for them. So just leave it on quality. It's perfectly fine. And then under profile, you can put it on the highest on high. Um, you can lower those, those settings um, if you are lagging. If you're lagging and you need to lower your stuff, go to output and you're going to switch your encoder to software times 264, right? And then you're going to lower your bit rate to 2500. And then see right here, the CPU usage preset, the higher it says the like very fast, ultra fast, that's going to be less CPU usage. So you want it as high as possible to lay off of your computer from having to work so hard. Um, you can try very fast and if that doesn't work, go up to ultra fast and that will help a lot. So these will be probably the settings that you're going to want um, to keep everything low. Um, and that's under the output. And of course, if you're also having lag issues when you're recording, you want to do the same thing under recording. Make sure that this is equal to what you have. So you have it on NVENC. So oops, you know, maybe you didn't know you had it on NVENC. Change it back to 240. And then of course your bit rate at 2500. Um, and then your quality here, you want to lower that quality to the ultra fast. And then you can play with it. You can go to very fast and see if that still works and see when the lag um, actually begins. So that is for output. Um, let's just check video. Uh, again, this downscaler, you want to go bilinear here to lower, get rid of that lag. Um, hopefully this helps guys. Also check out my other video um, up here. Um, it might, I think it's a longer video, goes into things in a little more detail, but it's pretty much the same thing, but it's just before the um, changes on Streamlabs, uh, they uploaded, they updated everything. So hopefully this helps and happy streaming guys. Take care.